Okay, go. Welcome to our video and in this video we're going to show you how to needle felt our wren. So this little wren is one that we've made and he is felted from using our own wool from our sheep. And the wren is the small, one of the smallest of the Irish birds, measuring just 9 to 10 centimetres from the tip of his tail to his beak. And you can also use this method to create other birds. So that's our blue tit and our robin. So what you will need, you will need a sponge um, to support your work. You need some felting needles. And these are special barb needles for to work with the wool. For to make the body of the bird, we are using approximately 3 uh, grams of white core wool. So this is the white wool that's been washed from our sheep. We'll also need some brown wool that we can use for to cover the little body of the bird when we get that far. And the other things that we will need, we need some wire for its legs, a scissors, we're using some cloves for its beak. We have another pen with three needles in it that we can use. I am using some very small glass eyes for our bird. If you have some beads, they'll work perfectly either. We have a knife for to use with the clothes for to make the beak and we have some glue. So quickly we're going to get started. We're going to run through this video and show you how we do it. So the first thing that you do is you loosen up your fibres, wind them up nice and tightly into a small bird body shaped piece and take in your needle. Be very careful. The needles are very sharp. You want to mind your fingers with them. We're going to continue to work on that by pushing the needle right down through it. Needle needs to go at least halfway through. And that will tangle the fibres together and your wool will become a solid piece that you can sculpt into shape. So we're going to continue to work on that and as we work on it you can see that we can it's forming a shape and then we have a soft bird like shape but we need to work on that somewhat further because it needs to be firm till eventually we have a solid piece that is the shape of our bird. So once we have that the next thing we need to do is we need to cover it with some of our brown fibres so we're going to take some of the brown fibre and we're going to lay it over this piece. So you just take it in small pieces and you're going to needle felt that onto the little core or centre that you've made for your board. So you're going to take that and work your way right around it until you have the entire piece covered in your brown fibres. And that will push in and stay perfectly in place. So you're going to continue to do that till the entire piece is covered in brown fiber and it'll look something like this. So this is the one that we have made. We have it covered completely in fiber. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to give it its um, tail and its wings. So to do that, we're going to make a solid piece of wool fabric. So this is almost like a piece of felt. So again, we're going to take some of our brown wool and we're going to open it out and lay it down flat on our sponge. And we can blend some darker colours through it as well because if you look at a picture of a wren, they're slightly mottled in colour with some darker and lighter pieces through them. So we take that and we lay it down. And again with our needle, or if you do happen to have a needle that has more um, needles in it, we can use that as well. So we're going to continue to work on that and keep turning it over until we create a piece of felt like fabric. So that will become into a, become a piece of fabric when we continue to do that. And this is one that I've been working on. So in this one, it's into a solid piece and we're going to add some more detail by taking some white wool and putting some lines on it. And that will give us, when we cut it out, it will give us the feather-like impression that we need for the wings and tail. So for this, you're just going to take tiny pieces of your white wool, lay them on your brown and felt them in. So you can see the way it's forming some lines. And from that then, depending on the size of your bird, you're going to cut out with a scissors very carefully, pieces that you need for its wings and a small piece for its tail. So from that size of a piece, you'll have sufficient for it to cut some wings and your tail. To attach them, we lay them in the correct position on the side of the board and we carefully felt around the front edge of it to put it in place. So that will attach itself completely to the board and we do the same on the reverse. And again, we want to be careful that they are matching and placed evenly.
And that's our two little wings that you can be, if you're doing this, you can take a little bit more time, but make sure that they're even more secure. We'll go back and double check all the detail after. And our little wren, his tail sticks up in the air. So you're going to mount that on top of its back. And felt it into place and we can secure it then here as well. We gently felt it down as well so that it will stand when we have our bird complete. And our next thing that we need to add are our two little eyes and again as I said if you don't have something like this you can actually use a little black bead. So again we have to pick where we're going to place them. You can use a photograph for reference and you can decide where they should be. So to fit the eye, you make a small hollow in the area where the eye will sit to allow the glass eye to fit in. Then you will run your needle down and make a hole so that the shank of the eye sits into place. Or if you're using a bead, you'll still make a little hollow. So we push our eye in just to check that it's going to fit. Then we will take our glue and we'll put a tiny dot of glue on the eye. And that's it, and we push it down into place. That's a good tight fit. And we'll do the same on the opposite side. So approximately opposite, and we need to be careful because the shank of the other eye is now in place. So we need to be careful that we don't hit off it with our needle, because our needles they do break quite easily. And again, put a tiny drop of glue and place our eye in and push it securely into place. And that's our two little eyes are now in place on our bird. We can add a little bit of detail. There's a tiny bit of white under the eye, so you can in your own time add some additional detail to the bird. So if you just want to add a bit of white, you're taking a little bit of white fibre pushing it in gently around the base of the eye and you can take your scissors then and clip off the surface. The bird will also have a tiny bit of white radiates from the back of the eye out towards the head. You can again take a little bit of white fibre and push that into place and take your scissors and trim it. So that's how you're going to add any more detail that you want. So just add some highlights to the bird. So that's that part done. The next thing we need to do is we need to add a beak and I'm using a clove because it's possible to cut them and make them the right shape. So we just need to pick a small one. I just picked a small clove and the wren has quite a small beak. It's quite thin and light so I'm just going to pick the centre out and then I'm going to remove two of the little legs of the clove. So we're just going to have it like that. Then with your knife very carefully, you can carve your clove down to the shape that you need. And also with the clove when you cut it, it's going to be a variation in wood colour which will resemble a beak. And there we have our little beak cut. And again, I'm going to put a dot of glue on that. And I'm going to apply that then to the board. Carefully push it into place. And as the glue dries, we have our little beak. Next thing that we need to add are our legs. And I'm using a small bit of brass wire for that, which is quite soft, so I can cut up my scissors. I'm just going to take two pieces of that. And this is the same process as putting in the eyes. So we need to decide again, either from a picture for reference or from the one that we've already made where they go and the legs on a bird sit back quite far. So we're going to pick two indentations with the needle by putting it in and run it up and down in the same spot. They should hold our wire and push them in. So we're going to again put a tiny bit of glue on them. And push that well down into place. Now do the same with the other one. I want to make sure that the hole is well opened. And 
and we secure them well in place. So that's our legs. Now we want to add a little bit of fibre to hide the leg. So to do that, just add some glue. Take a little bit of fibre, stretch it out, and the glue will help to secure it in place. It's a little bit messy job. Wrap it carefully round. We can do that on the other leg. And the glue will help to hold that in place and you can add an extra bit then as well for to secure it. So we're going to do that on the two legs. So that's just going to cover them. So if we're doing that, I'm going to finish it after. Then we're going to take our piece of wood that we cut and there's two tiny holes drilled in that. The two legs will sit down so you can just bend your legs at the length that they need to be. Sit them down into the timber and they will hold in place and again we can add some glue to the bottom. So I'm not going to glue mine in place because I want to take it back out and I want to finish the detail. I need to straighten this beak, it got a little bit lost in war. The last thing that you would do then is if you when you have all finished and you are ready to um, finish off your piece, you can glue, place some glue on the timber and just add some fresh moss or some dry moss to it and that is our little guy complete so that's our two little wrens we could add some more detail we're not going to in this video you've got the idea of what you need to do so you can add some more detail to your little wren and um, that's your project so complete so thank you for joining crafts of ireland for this video and we look forward to showing you some more crafts soon thank you